In this video, I would talk about the general format of an engineering laboratory report. If you want to insert page numbers on your Word document except the title page, you can go to Insert tab and from Header and Footer group, click on this drop down menu for page number, select bottom of page and select this one, the middle one here. Check this different first page and then double click on the page and here you can see the first page which is the title page doesn't have any page number but the second page has its number but we want it to start with one so again you can go to insert and modify this under page number click on format page numbers and here type zero then OK. Now you see it converts to 1 and the first page doesn't have any page number. Here is the general format of an engineering lab report. So after the title page, you will start with abstract, where you summarize the objectives of the experiment, the steps and the main findings. Second section would be introduction, where you include the theoretical background and the literature review. In experimental procedure, you describe the materials and machines and the steps of your experiment. In results and discussion section, you would demonstrate the results of your experiment in the form of graphs, diagrams, and tables, and discuss on those. In conclusions, you summarize the findings of your experiments. And finally, references and appendices, if there is any. If you are using a book, a journal, or any other references in preparing the lab report, make sure to include those references. Now I'm going to show how to include the references in your lab report. So I'm going to add the reference here. So from the ribbon, go to References tab, click on Insert Citation from Citation and Bibliography, and select Add New Source. Here you can select between book, book section, journal article, I would go with book, and here I would type the author's name, and here random letters just to show you how the feature works. Title, year, city, publisher, then OK. And notice that the reference is now shown in a bracket with the number of one. Now suppose I want to add another reference on an earlier line. So here again, I would go to insert citation, add new source. This time it would be a journal article Again, a name, an other information, title, journal, name, year, pages, volume, issue, and so on. Then press OK. And this reference is also added to the text. But this one needs to be updated. So select all these lines, right click, and then update field. Then you would see that automatically this reference number would be changed. Now I need to include these references at the end of the lab report. So here again go to references, bibliography, and then select this one here. And your references would be added in order. Suppose I want to include additional references in the report. So I would go back to the introduction section and this is where I want to add this additional reference. So go to reference tab, insert citation, add new source. And here, suppose I have 
multiple authors for this journal art article. So here I would list the, the name of the authors. And put commas between the author's name here for the title random letters and so on click OK and this reference is added here as the second reference so you don't need to update this one here if you go to the end of the report and click on this update citations and bibliography it would add the additional reference here and back to the introduction section you can see this one has been updated now I would show you how to insert figure captions in the lab report suppose that I have this figure and this title is considered as a caption for this figure click at the beginning of the caption go to references tab insert caption figure 1 is written here by default here you have the option to select between equation figure or table I would select figure then click OK and now figure 1 is added to the beginning of the caption now we can change the font go to home you can also locate the caption in the middle now how to refer this let me put a space here how you, you would refer to this caption to this figure within the text so suppose I want to enter this here go to references cross-reference and here again you have the option to select between these I would select figure select only label and number then insert close this window and figure 1 is written here and is referring to this one now suppose that at this stage you remember that you you're gonna insert additional figures at the top of this one so word has the ability to update this one as you have entered this in the references tab so I would go to this figure so again I would repeat the same thing I would go to insert caption let it be figure 1 and then click OK I would change the font the style and then locate it in the middle now here in the text I would go to references cross reference figure only label and number and then insert close it again I am referring to this figure here and if you go to this this one here you can see that it has been updated automatically and for this one you can do it here right click and update the figure So the point of this feature is that sometimes you have to insert additional figures into your lab report and with this feature you don't have to worry about the number of figures inside the text or in the captions. Now suppose I want to add a caption for this table. The caption of the tables are located on top of the tables, not at the bottom. So I would do the same procedure as I did for figures. I would go to insert caption under references tab. 
select table table one is written automatically click ok and now i can modify the font style here now how i'm gonna add have um, how i can refer to this table inside the text so i would put this here go to references cross reference select table only label and number and then insert close the window and as you select this these words you can see this one is in dark gray and these are in gray it means that this one is a reference now whenever you add additional figures or tables board has the ability to update the order of the figure captions and table captions sometimes your report is long and you want to have a table of content at the beginning of your report the table of content can be added after the abstract and before doing so you need to select the sections that you want to include in the table introduction is the first section i would select this go to the home tab and select heading one from styles group now if you click on this small triangle it would eliminate all the text between this section and the next section now click on this rectangle and the and the text would be back next section is experimental procedure i would select this and click on heading one then i have results and discussion select heading one and the final section is conclusions now back to the first page after abstract I need to go to a new page and here I can go to references table of contents and select this one and you have the option to add the table of contents and adjust it manually or select between these two I would select the second one and the table of contents is added here from now on if you change the page of these sections and update this table the number of the pages would be updated automatically. So make sure to include this table of content in a separate page. I would press enter until this section is in, in the other page. Now I have the table of contents here with these numbers that can be updated as I am preparing the lab report.